Yeah. 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 Unfortunately, we're having a lot of those. <laughs> How you doing, Coach? Can you hear me okay? I can, yeah. Well, thank you very much for joining us tonight. At this time, we're joined by the head coach of the Appalachian State Mountaineers, Dustin Kearns. Coach, can you start off with a brief opening statement, please? Uh, March Madness, man, it's crazy. It's fun. It's, it's, I'm so proud of our team. What a crazy game against a very good team. Um, our goal was to, to slow the pace down. We did exactly that and make it a game. They, um, they're undefeated when they have over 70 possessions. They haven't won when they're under 70. So we were, I think that probably continued tonight. But uh, just proud of our team. Our guys finding ways to win. And uh, here you are in the championship game. Can you talk about the kind of pressure you were able to put on CCU tonight and what effect that had on your ball club mentally when you struggled to shoot the ball for long stretches? Pressure defensively? Correct. Yeah, I mean, we were just ourselves defensively. Um, we weren't doing anything anything normally different. Uh, we wanted to be aggressive, but then we just tried to control the tempo there, you know, on the offensive end. Two nights in a row, Delph had great shooting games, but last night he came alive at the end, down the stretch in an OT here. He hit huge shots. What does that say about him as a player? Uh, he's taken a huge step this year. He's a great player. He's confident. And he puts the work in. It's a, it's a great lesson that if you put the work in, uh, this game rewards it. And so he's a worker and uh, he's a tough guy. Along the same themes, Justin Forrest was three of 18 from the field, but he kind of won the game for you with his steal and free throws. And last night he had a chance to let up as well. Do you ever ever, ever have any concerns? He's someone who might get discouraged. Oh, sure, there? sure. I mean, he's, he's drawing a great, he's drawing great defenders. Um, He's, uh, you know, they're, they're trying on to him. They're, they're, it's frustrating for him, but uh, he, he, he's, uh, it's part of the game. And uh, he, uh, you know, certainly has some toughness and shows it. And he made some big free throws there. I thought R.J. Duhart obviously made a huge free throw there. Was slowing down uh, Devontae Jones a key for your defense in the second half? You know, they got so many options. They got so many options. Tipler. And green and, and and Mustafa really hurt us, but they got so many options. Our, we were scared to death about the three points. Uh, they only made three, and so it's incredible, you know, defense by our team. And um, you know, so but we, we really wanted to slow the game down on our offensive end. We felt like we could control the tempo there uh, by, by by doing it offensively. Now, honestly been a good player for you all season but has he surprised even you with his play here in the tournament not really he's another guy that puts work in he's a good player he's tough it means a lot to him you know he said last night he said this is why i came here to play for an opportunity to play in the ncaa tournament and so then here we are did you think you could hold one of the better offenses in the country to 61 points coming into tonight i did i did i thought once again i thought we had to do it with our offense uh, we could not get in a track meet with them. We could not get in an up and down game with them. And we really slowed it down and made it a possession game. And uh, uh, and I thought that helped our defense. One thing I didn't want to do is go down and take some quick shots. And then you, all of a sudden you're playing right back on transition defense. And that's where they get you. And, and fortunately, we weren't able to, we, were, we, were, we weren't doing that, which really, really helped us. Well, last night, you had a very emotional, an emotional roller coaster type game. Did that, help you? Did that help you or hurt you tonight? tonight? Did it help you or hurt you tonight, Bill? I think it helped us, but, you know, you, you, know, you coach a lot of games. You know, you know, there's a lot of different situations. Here we found ourselves in the same situation. We had a, a, uh, a foul to give. I told the officials we wanted to foul. Um, I'll take a look at that call, but, you know, I, those guys are really good officiating. I'm sure they've made the right call, but, um, you know, we fouled him on the catch. Um, I, I didn't really think he was in a shooting motion, but uh, there we are. We found ourselves in the same situation again. And, um, and then, you know, when Duhart made the free throw, you know, was certainly yelling foul there. And I, and I thought they looked a little shaky. We called it off. You've made it to the championship game of the Sun Belt Conference Tournament. What are you feeling right now for you? Well, this isn't about me. This is about App State. This is about our players. Um, I'm excited for them. Uh, I'm excited for our program. I'm excited for our university. Um, I'm excited for our administration. 
Uh, we've got a great athletic director and we've got a great, uh, in Doug Gillen, we've got a great chancellor in Sherry Everett. So I'm, I'm happy for them. Uh, but, you know, uh, we're, we didn't come here just to play for it uh, or play in it. We didn't come here just to play in it. We came here uh, to, to, to win the thing. And so we've gave it our, give ourselves opportunity and uh, really, really just proud of our team. And one final question. Uh, what concerns has Georgia State put for you for tomorrow's game? A lot. Uh, they're really, really good. I think they've won seven or eight in a row. Um, and so uh, that, that, uh, they, they have a lot of issues I'm worried about. Well, thank you very much for the time, Coach. We really appreciate it. And uh, good luck preparing for tomorrow. Go Mountaineers. Thank you, sir.